What's going on, KS Nation? Your boy Kendrick in here back with my obligatory channel update video. Uh, I know I haven't been putting out much videos lately, but there's a reason for that. Um, first and foremost, let me start by saying that I enjoy YouTube. I've enjoyed it ever since I started making videos for YouTube. Again, as you've noticed, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, mainly because my attention has been diverted into other things, more so much film making. Um, this isn't me saying that I'm going to be quitting YouTube. That's not what is happening here. That's not what I am doing. But there will be some changes happening to this channel. Now that Facebook and Instagram, more specifically IGTV, have entered the fray and are coming for YouTube in a realm of content creating, I see this as an opportunity to really expand my reach in the content creation universe. Like I said, I am not going to be leaving YouTube. I am not leaving it, at least not right now. Um, algorithms and monetization notwithstanding, it's still a pretty decent platform to share content. So I will not be leaving YouTube in the interim, not right now. I just, I want to see how things play out with Facebook as well as Instagram TV. So basically what's going to be happening now is my channel is going to change yet again. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, dude, what's the point of changing the channel when you're hardly putting out videos right now? And while you're, you're technically right, that doesn't change the fact that there's a lot of things that I want to do with this channel that now I feel I don't need to do with this channel because I have other outlets that are going to far out extend my reach than I would on YouTube. Granted, all of you 8,000 plus subscribers that I have, you guys are great. You guys are awesome. You've been with me for a long time and I appreciate that. But the fact of the matter is I'm not really getting the views like I was and I think partly is because of the fact that there's a lot of things that I cut back from doing on my channel. And the reason why I cut back a lot of things that I was doing on my channel is just for my own peace of mind. Um, I didn't want to continue to sit here and have to struggle to get out video after video about things that I wasn't really interested in and things that I was late on. Because to be honest, you know, if there's, if there's things that I'm late on, like say a trailer drops or something like that, and I'm not there to like post a video up about it, kind of face the purpose of posting the video up about it. If I'm like a couple of days late on the subject. So after doing some investigation into Facebook, what they're planning on doing with um, their streaming service, kind of, as well as the newly announced Instagram TV, which just dropped earlier this week, I've decided to put some things in different places to help progress the brand. Not so much the channel, but the brand. Canimation Studios is a brand right now. It's not just this YouTube channel. I'm turning it into a brand, into a legitimate content creating film making brand. And in order for me to do that, I need to extend outside of the YouTube universe. So after looking through a lot of my playlists last night on on YouTube, I decided that um, some things are not going to be here anymore. A lot of those things are going to be on Instagram, some of the things are going to be on Facebook once Facebook gets its own um, system together. And then, and then there's going to be things that are going to be on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. There's going to be, they're going to be sticky. I just want to give you guys a rundown of what's actually going to be, what's going to be going where and how this thing is going to work. Let's start off with YouTube itself, the Kenimation Studios YouTube channel. These are the things that are going to be sticking around here. So my reaction videos are going to stay and i know i have been doing a lot of those but again there's a reason why i cut back from those so you will still see a trailer reaction if i can get to it a fan-made trailer reaction because i gotta look out for my boy strider hd ultra sergeant a deal of steel you know i gotta look out for all those guys so those are still gonna keep coming um random reaction videos for like comedy things i'm gonna try to probably do a little bit more of and you know, whatever you guys suggest that you want me to react to, I'll be up for it. So basically, this is me saying it is open season on reaction suggestions. Whatever you want me to react to, I'll react to 
if I can, if I have the time to get to it. If I don't, don't chew my head off because there's a lot of things I got going on on the outside of YouTube as well. But if I can get to it, I'll react to it. So, and of course, you know how to send me your suggestions, whether it's in the comment section or whether it's through my Insta, I mean, not Instagram, through my Twitter feed or my Facebook fan page, whatever you want to suggest me for me to react to, you know where to send it. My coming attractions, that's of course where things that I have going into production, those are where those trailers will premiere. They will premiere on YouTube. The teasers might premiere on like Instagram or like Facebook or something, but the main trailers will premiere on YouTube in the coming attractions playlist. So be on the lookout for that. Anything that I finish production on, such, such as my fan films and things and other shorts, those will be in a feature presentation on playlist. Um, I'm still working on you know, um, Equilibrium Balance, and I'm still working on Young Justice Future Shock. So those will premiere in a feature presentation playlist. Spoiler reviews will be strictly for YouTube. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I am on Stardust. And Stardust is usually for quick reactions and quick reviews. I'm still going to be doing those, but it's going to be it's going to be threefold. So the quick reaction reviews will be on Stardust. Regular reviews will be on Instagram TV. That's where those those will go. Regular reviews will go on Instagram TV. Spoiler reviews, if I choose to do a spoiler review, will be strictly on YouTube. So that's that's not just spoiler reviews. That probably be like a retrospective on a certain movie that has come out that I want to talk more extensively about. Um, so that's what's going to be sticking on YouTube. So spoiler reviews will be strictly on YouTube. My casting call video is if like for basically any extensive casting call video that I decide to do will be on YouTube. If it's a short version, it won't be here. But if it's a fan, but if it's like a a long extensive, long extensive fan casting call, it will be here on YouTube. So you don't have to worry about that. My interview shows Tuesdays with will still be on YouTube as well. That way it'll get exposure to the person I'm interviewing as well as, you know, notoriety. So Tuesdays with will be on YouTube and I'm looking to be starting to back up very soon. Trailer made is going to stay on YouTube as well. I know I haven't started that yet. That was supposed to be the um, segment where I take certain trailers, I analyze them, I break them down. That's going to stay here. I'm going to continue to use YouTube for that platform. So I'll probably be starting that sometime soon, later on in the summer, maybe. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm still planning to do like acting monologues and stuff. I know I haven't started that yet either, but I'm going to be looking towards the summer to do that as well, especially when more parts start coming my way. So hopefully that will be a good outlet for me to start perfecting my acting. And of course, my pitch ideas are going to stay right here on YouTube as well. That means I'm going to take certain premises of a certain movies, certain franchises, whatever, whatever, video games, movies, franchises, whatever, and pitch like maybe a reboot, a sequel, a remake, and how I would do it. So that's going to stay right here on YouTube. Facebook, however, is going to be a different story because I still don't know the ins and outs of how they're going to be doing their video content creating platform. I'm still I'm trying to learn more about it before I jump into it. But the only thing really going to stay, the only thing really moving from YouTube to Facebook is my dreadlock nerd talk. I think I'm going to use that more on Facebook than I would do it here. Mainly because... I'm probably going to have more conversation on Facebook than I will here on YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry to say this, guys, but the engagement with my dreadlock nerd talk isn't really where it's supposed to be here on YouTube. And there's no point in keeping it here where I can get more engagement on Facebook. So that's where that's going to go. So, yeah, um, that, that, that's pretty much that as far as Facebook is concerned. My dreadlock nerd talk is going to go right to on Facebook. As far as Instagram TV is concerned, regular reviews are going to go there. Like I said before, spoiler reviews are going to stay on YouTube. Regular reviews are going to go right on to um, Instagram TV. Since they tend to be a little bit shorter than your 
spoiler review, I figured that would be the best platform for it to be on. As far as I understand, Instagram TV only allows you 10 minutes of um, video time, if I'm not mistaken. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to keep, I'm going to move regular reviews to um, Instagram TV. Also, moving to Instagram TV are my top five. Like I said, my major casting call videos, things that are going to be longer than five. Um, installments are going to stick on YouTube, but as far as top five is concerned, that's going to jump to Instagram TV. I figured that'd be the best bet considering the fact that I tend to go a little bit longer with my top fives. A time, a time constraint will help me narrow those things down. As soon as it's just five, I'll be able to get those, be able to get those out as soon as I po possibly can. So top five will be going to Instagram TV. Fan mail will be going to Instagram TV as well. So any fan mail that I get, whether it's from YouTube, Facebook, or even Instagram, I'll be reading them out on Instagram TV. So that's where those will go. Words of wisdom, which I haven't done in a while, those are going to be going to Instagram also. Um, I know they did well on here on YouTube for a little bit, but I don't know I haven't done them in a while, but I'm going to be bringing those back. And I figure Instagram would probably be the best bet for those places to go. Anything behind the scenes related to my projects are going to Instagram TV. I know they're supposed to be going to YouTube, but I figured I think more people will reach it quickly if it's on Instagram. So whether it's choreography, stunt work, um, production setup, even just writing, even just the stuff I'm going to be writing about, that's all going to go on Instagram TV. And, of course, I, I really went back and forth with this, but I decided that Ask the Locks is going to be going to Instagram TV as well. I think I'm going to get much more of a interaction of people on Instagram as opposed to um, YouTube. I'm sorry to say that, but um, I can't just have just one person asking me a whole bunch of questions here on YouTube, and those questions aren't really about anything. Um, Instagram is probably going to be the better bet for me to do that, so... That's where Asalox is going to go to Instagram TV. As far as all platforms all across the board, um, my live streams are going to be all across them. Not so much Instagram, but definitely YouTube and Facebook. As well, of course, as um, you now. I know I have a live stream in a minute. I'll probably be live streaming soon. In fact, I'm going to be doing some live stream gameplay in a minute on Twitch. Um... So live streaming, regular live streaming, as well as gameplay live streaming will be on all platforms. I am um, in the process of trying to connect my Twitch to my Facebook account. So I know that's one, been one of the biggest things happening right now with um, Facebook Watch. There's a lot of gameplay videos have been happening there. And I'm trying to figure out how to connect that to my Facebook um, page. I will be using mainly Twitch now for game stream for live stream gameplays. Um maybe Facebook here and maybe YouTube here and there, but it's just going to be Twitch. Twitch is the only thing I'm gonna be doing live stream gameplays on from now on. <laughs> and that's about it. Um over time, you know, certain things will be moved from here to there, you know, as far as like, you know, certain playlists and stuff, but that's the that's, that's going to be the new wave since summer is starting. That's going to be the new wave for the YouTube for the Canimation Studios brand. So, like I said, I am not completely leaving YouTube, but I am expanding my reach beyond YouTube into Facebook and Instagram TV. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, everything in the description box can tell you where exactly to go for my Facebook fan page, my Instagrams, and if you have Twitch, find me on Twitch. You can find me on Twitch for live stream gameplays. That's where all my gameplays are going to be at from now on. I may do YouTubes here and there, but it's just going to be it's going to be Twitch from now on. That's all it is. It's all going to be Twitch. Post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the changes coming to my YouTube channel and to the Canimation Studios brand. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, again, post them in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm not going to ask you if you enjoyed this video because at this point it doesn't really matter if you enjoyed this video or not. 
but share this video with all your friends who are subscribed to the channel and of course subscribe to the channel if you still choose to if you enjoy what you see but if not you can find me on facebook you can find me on my facebook fan page and you can find me on instagram tv i'm out peace